we come a long way from Lexington, Kentucky at the opening weekend. Welcome into Capital City Sports. I'm Paul Kritzman, joined by Justin Stevens here at Carolina Stadium. We're wrapping up the regular season with Carolina's series against LSU. South Carolina needed a win today in order to secure the regular season title. So let's jump right to the highlights. To the third inning, Evan Marzulli ropes out a triple. Up next, Adam Matthews then drives him in on a sack fly and ties the game 1-1. One -to -one. From then on, the game is a defensive one. Top of the seventh, Chase Ferguson dives and secures an out for the Gamecocks. A few batters later, and LSU has two runners on. Tanner shifts LB Dantzler closer to the line at third base right as he has hit a grounder. So he just steps on third and ends the inning right there. On the other side of the seventh, the Tiger defense returns the favor. Two down and Matthews drives the ball, but Alex Edward makes a fantastic diving catch. We go into extra innings. Top of the tenth, two on, pinch hitter Jackson Slade sends the ball to right field and sends a runner home. Austin Nola follows suit and drives in what turns out to be the winning run. South Carolina only tacks on one more in the bottom of the inning. LSU's Nick Goody closes the game and records a save on the day. The win goes to LSU's Chris Cotton and the loss is charged to Evan Bill. Colby Holmes gets a no decision for the Gamecocks but throws six and two thirds innings, K's three, and only gives up one unearned run on four hits. You know, I was just wanting to come out, you know, give the team as many innings as I could. Uh, you know, coach asked me last night if, uh, if I was good and if I was ready to go. And I was like, yeah, I'll give you everything I got. You know, I went out there and, you know, did what I could and put the team in the position to win. The Gamecocks end the season 39 and 15. They win the SEC East going 18 and 11 in conference play. And they finish just a half game behind the LSU Tigers for the conference title. You know, like I said, these guys have done a good job. We, we started the team at the beginning of the year without a whole lot of experience except from a few older guys, and we, we had some lumps along the way. We, we scuffled some, but we kept battling, and, and I'm proud of these players. I, I'm disappointed right now. I wanted to win today, but um, hopefully, hopefully we can regroup and, and make a run, you know, do, do a good job in Hoover and try to get hot at the right time. So South Carolina unable to pull out the regular season championship or at least secure it, Justin. Yeah. But there were some positives today. Can you tell me a little bit about specifically Colby Holmes? Well, you know Colby Holmes coming off that injury. He played Tuesday against USC Upstate, struggled in two innings, gave up three runs, was about to get pulled against USC Upstate, but the rain kind of saved him there. Ray Tanner gave him to start today, and he pitched a great outing, six and two-thirds innings, only four hits allowed. And I think he only had three strikeouts, around three mm -hmm. strikeouts the whole game, which tells you he wasn't striking people out. Right. He was getting people out long, deep fly balls mm -hmm. to center and I think center, center field and right field. But Holmes, he got it done today and really impressive, and that's what they need, a reliable third-game starter. So overall, a good outing for Kobe Holmes. Wanted to stay out there longer. Everything mm -hmm. felt great for him, but he wanted to do what was best for the team. And then the relieving staff, not really able to finish out the game, but... A pretty defensive game yeah. in the in the majority. Um, let's look at Adam Matthews being s slipped into that number two slot yesterday. Seemed to work, bring a little bit into the offense, and then today, in terms of the whole top of the order, getting a lot more support. Yeah, the top of the order, they're, they're starting to change it around a bit, putting more experience there. You know, they had Pancake there for majority of the season, but since he's a freshman, I guess. Ray Tanner probably felt going to the postseason, you know, they need experienced mm -hmm. guys out there, especially in Omaha and wherever they play in the Super Regional, either here or somewhere else. And you see Marzilli did pretty good today. Adam Matthews, two for four. Christian Walker had the RBI in the tenth, the sack fly that scored Marzilli. And, you know, it's just you see the batters in the top of the order coming through. And just the latter part of that, latter part of the order with Grayson Grind, who went over over five today. He needs to step up after mm -hmm. LB Dancer. It's just two out hits. They need to capitalize on those more, too. They struggled today. Right. Tanner's saying after the game how much he loved what Matthews brought to the table. Mm -hmm. Same if he was hitting in the 200s or if he was going three for three in a day. Just always the same mentality, working hard. Something that Griner and some of the younger guys just can look up to and hopefully pull out yeah. in the SEC tournament. Speaking of, SEC tournament coming up um, this week, Tuesday. We're not sure who's starting. 
Uh, Montgomery's an option, a couple other guys. Mm. It's not going to be Roth, not even yeah. possibly Wednesday if they get to a Wednesday <laughs> game. Um, but just a little bit about the SEC tournament, what, what they need to do, why it's important. Mostly it's important because of that national seed. They want to play here in mm -hmm. Carolina Stadium. And to do that, they have to come up with a big performance in, in Hoover in the SEC tournament. Going to this game, LSU in South Carolina was was eight and nine in the RPI, you know, and LSU took the series. So you see LSU probably right now standing pretty for that super regional South Carolina. Maybe on the outside looking in, they probably need a win to brought probably three or four games in the SEC tournament to secure that spot. Yeah. Well, we'll see how the Gamecocks do next week. The game, the SEC tournament starts Tuesday. Mm -hmm. We'll see where they end up playing. Hopefully we'll be able to come back and bring you some regional coverage here at Carolina Stadium with the national seed going into it. Oh, yeah. Uh, we look forward to that. Stay tuned for updates through all of that at sgtv.se.edu slash ccs. You can also view us on Facebook and Twitter. Just look for SGTV or Capital City Sports. Thanks for joining us. I've been Paul Kritzman. This is Justin Stevens. Have fun and keep a lookout for all that coverage.